Hey, Visanta here. So there's a new event dropped in War Division and it's called Admirable Prince along with some other events. So let's briefly go through it and see what you, sh you should be grinding. Pause me. All right, so the obvious thing is to get to get your dailies and runs out of the way. There's the shard heart quest for the characters that you're working on. You can go to limit break, click on that. It'll take you straight there. I need to do mine still, but don't mind that. Do your three time daily for your day training stuff in the events, All right? Do Z three times, get those out of the way. And then there is the nice stuff in the million downloads, the daily shard quest, and then there is the release collaboration quest. And then the one that newly added JP reward quest. So that you pick your team of five, you get those juicy points, 500 to be exact per character. And that is pretty much the limited stuff. And then there's like these daily missions that you probably should just finish up, of course. All right, so they drop Admirable Prince event. This consists of 10 normal ones and two ex ones and these ex ones can also be played in multiplayer there's missions on those as well in the event tab of the milestone of the mission log so there's one for multiplayer and one for solo in my opinion i don't think you should actually do these unless you have an axe user like yerma or a great sword user like stern because um yeah they dropped the recipe but they also dropped these awakening mats here and these cost like 120 pvp coins and you need quite a bit just to awaken them for higher rarity weapons. So EX2 is just for Great Sword, and then EX1 is for Axe. So farm what you need. All right, so if you're out of energy, or maybe you're feeling a little stingy or whatever, you can <laughs> go to the multi multiplayer here, right? And then just join. You don't have to use your own stamina. Join a room, and yeah, there's some right now. You can just join them, help them out, get those nice awakening mats if you have those users. Other than that, for the rest of us, I feel like you should probably use your stamina to do story quests and try to get masks for your job levels. So the item drops and JP that you get from story quests is double. There is a calculator right here that I'm showing on the screen right now that it can help you easily decide which levels you want to hit that can have like multiple ones. Um, I'm looking for white mage memory and green mage right now. None of it apparently has both of them but you can totally use it you can just hover over it and then you can kind of figure out just from there instead of going through each story and then clicking on the magnifying glasses to see what kind of items are there um, i'll put the link to this calculator in the description down below so you can pretty much just click on this and add new materials right well we can put you just put that fire purple here add material load the quest and you notice that it has both of these even though um, one has a picture one doesn't but yeah so you can totally use this figure out what you need you might need both it might not it'll list everything for that specific mat so just keep grinding on those mats get your job level up unlock new skills get those nice juicy points while you're at it because you're gonna need a lot for all that stuff and with that thanks for watching and i do stream on twitch uh usually some seven deadly sins or pokemon or smash or War of Division. So feel free to check out. It's also in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.